Hi, welcome to Monroe Live. I'm Paul Turnbull, and we're lucky enough today to have, uh, thanks to Kia, uh, Kia EV9 with us. Uh, this car is really nice. I had a chance to drive it yesterday, and uh, it really occupies a great little spot in the uh, world right now. Uh, SUV that is all electric. There's only a couple of others that are out there, a uh, Rivian and a uh, Mercedes that occupy a similar segment. Um, and this one is the lowest price version. Um, th this particular vehicle is the GT uh, and the top of the line for Kia. It has uh, two motors, all wheel drive. Uh, it is 189 uh, horsepower for each motor for a total of 379 horsepower. Uh, so that gives a pretty good get up and go, it goes zero to 60 on a rolling start uh, in about four and a half seconds, which feels pretty nice as you're, as you're going away. It's from a EV perspective, that's um, not as fast as the Teslas, but faster but than almost any of the internal combustion engine vehicles in this class. Um, this car also has a 99.8 kilowatt hour battery pack uh, which gives you about 270 miles of electric range. Um, so those are the main stacks for this uh, vehicle. Uh, the 270 miles, you can, there's a version of it that goes over 300 miles if you get the uh, rear wheel drive version of it. Uh, and there's another version that's coming that will be even higher performance than this one. Um, I think if performance is your key buying metric, um, you probably want to look at the uh, Rivian, uh, but this is a fantastic uh, people hauler. Uh, this is probably the car that I would have bought when I was in my 40s to uh, shuttle the kids. Um, it's a fantastic road trip car. Um, so that's the, occupy, the niche it occupies. Um, fantastic little uh, piece of engineering. Um, the one thing that distinguishes this from the electric competition is that this is an 800 volt vehicle. And at the moment, there's only a couple of other 800 volt vehicles on the road and they are much more expensive than this. So Hyundai and Kia have an 800 volt architecture that enables the fastest D uh, DC fast charging in the industry today. And that's a big deal when you're on the road uh, for just about every electric vehicle. Um, charging is one of the big pain points and Kia and Hyundai have an edge on all the competition at the moment. Um, I wanted to focus today on just exactly the engineering that they've done to enable that 800 volt architecture um, because this is Monroe Live and at Monroe and Associates, we kind of look at the engineering behind what's going on, not just the statistics and the, uh, and the outside surface appearance. Um, although it is kind of nice to see the ocean blue of the Kia uh, EV9. Um, but back to that 800 volt architecture. The 800 volt architecture for this vehicle um, gives it this fast charging time. And this vehicle can go from about 20% to 80% in about 20 to 25 minutes on a 350 kilowatt um, DC fast charger. Um, even with uh, uh, the regular fast chargers, it's still faster that charging than other vehicles of its class. And those minutes matter when you're on a road trip. Um, why doesn't everybody do this 800 volt architecture? And the answer is, it's hard and expensive to do this. To do 800 volts, the battery in this vehicle is at 800 volts. The charger is at 400 volts. And so this kind of vehicle requires a boost converter to boost the charging, the 400 volts up to the 800 volts needed to charge the battery that boost converter is not a cheap device. It has to process 350 kilowatts, which is a lot, and it has to provide very smooth current to charge the battery. The smooth current does not come cheap. 
And so the way that you have to do that, most people were looking at this, um, you have to put in something called a filter. And a filter uh, at 800 volts for 350 kilowatts is something that's the size of a shoebox and weighs about 25 pounds. And unfortunately, it's all copper and steel and it costs hundreds of dollars. And so almost every automaker has looked at that problem and has decided maybe now is not the right time to go to 800 volts. Hyundai looked at that problem and said, we can solve that. And I just I love the engineering. And here at Monroe and Associates, we love to highlight brilliant engineering solutions to tough problems. And this is one of those examples. When we took apart the Ionic 5, which was the first example of this 800 volt architecture last year, and it shares uh, many of the components with this Kia behind me, um, the motors were pretty typical. And the typical motor has, in this case, um, eight poles, uh, 48 slots, and every motor has three electrical connections because motors are three phase devices. And so there are three separate windings in each motor. And so you need three connections to the motor to make it work. Then uh, when we looked at, when we took apart the, one of the motors in that Ionic 5, we found that there is a fourth connection to the motor. And that fourth connection just oh, was a complete mystery to us because you only need the three to make the motor work. So what are they doing with this fourth connection to the motor? And it was in the investigation of that and the, the discovery of uh, uh, the, the patents that uh, Hyundai has and uh, Kia is using in this car um, that there, it turns out that they're using the windings of the motor as their filter for their 800 volt boost converter. So instead of putting a shoebox size multi hundred dollar component that weighs 25 pounds, they're just using the motor to uh, act as their filter. And the motor, the current goes through the motor, gets smoothed out, and so the battery gets wonderful smooth current to charge it in as rapidly and as efficiently as possible. So by utilizing the components that they already had in the car, with just adding one extra connection to the motor, they were able to do something that other automakers um, looked at and said, wow, we just can't afford to do that right now. And I just think that when you have brilliant engineering solutions like that to bring faster charging to your customer uh, than anyone else in the business right now, uh, they just really deserve kudos and maybe the biggest uh, compliment I can give them is my anger because I didn't come up with this. And uh, gee, I, I just every engineer looks at this and just says, wow, I wish we'd come up with that because it's just such a great idea. So thanks for Mineral Live. Uh, check out the EV9 for, at your Kia dealership. Thanks.